Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our techies and this is iPod 5th generation in my hand and basically this is a requesting video from my most of the subscribers. They are asked me to make a video about uh, to how to unlock iPhone means iPhone 4s, iPod 5th generation, iPhone 4. That's why I'm making this video and this video will work on both of the uh, phones like it, both of the devices like iPod 5th generation and the iPhone 4s. So this video will for both two devices and this will help you to unlock iCloud lock for this file, this devices. So first of all, uh, let me select it. Okay, so here it is. It's uh, stuck on this uh, iCloud lock screen and so first of all, uh, uh, very first of all you require to turn on the computer on disable driver signature mode so you require to disable the driver signature enforcement and and this video will comp only work on windows 7 with 64 bit processor so be careful about that and after that uh, after disabling the driver signature enforcement you require to also uh, disable the uh, if any disable the antivirus if you have any on your computer so I'm assuming that your computer is already on disabled driver signature enforcement. So now, so starting the process. So first of all, uh, you require to download these two files from the given link below the description. And after downloading, okay, after downloading these two files, you require to copy that. Uh, file. First of all, you require to install the modded iTunes if you have already a iTunes on your computer then first uninstall that iTunes then restart the computer after then you just install this iTunes so after installing the iTunes you will uh, after installing the iTunes then you need to copy that uh, custom file means custom IPSW file after copy that then go to this particular folder and like app percent data okay go to this folder okay I think something yes Go to this folder means uh, Apple computer folder then iTunes then you need to go over this uh, if you have a, uh, you, if you are fixing it for iPod fifth generation then select a I select the iPod software update if you are using it for uh, iPhone 4s then select iPhone software update if you did not find any of this folder then create a new folder with uh, a name like uh, with name of iPhone software update create that folder then uh, then copy that file to this uh, that on that folder as it is uh, iPod so that's why I'm copying this folder copy this folder this on this uh, iPod software update section so after copying it just let it copy and then just rename that file to this specific name and if you have uh, if you are doing it for iPhone 4s then the file rename will be different I you can check the description to get the uh, which file will be so in which name the file will be so you can check the description basically the file name will be iPhone 4 comma 1 and same everything remains same I think this will be changed the code will be changed so you can check it out there in the description so I think it's already copied and then rename it to that okay okay now after that you have to do okay first of all you need to start the skin recorder for that okay Okay, first of all, open the iTunes and
and for this process you require the original cable which comes with the phone and if you have you did not then you require a high quality uh, cable for that so I'm using that original cable which comes with that iPod so first of all connect this to So first of all, uh, you require to connect the uh, connect the cable with the computer, and after connecting, just hold the power key. It will switch charging, and then hold the power key and the home key for 20 seconds. When the uh, when the screen will off, then remove holding the power key. Only hold the uh, home key. Okay, now it's on iTunes mode. So here it is. So here you can select this. Okay. Okay, it's come so. Okay, now here it is. Uh, asking for restore and update. Select restore. Don't select update. So only required to restore it. Then restore and update, and the entire process will start. And this complete process will take around uh, uh, 10 minutes completely so now I'm not uh, skipping the part of the video so we'll continue as it is on Starting the software bit and iPod recovery mode. Okay. And also a very important thing is that uh, this file will only work on um, iPod 5th generation which has 32 bit uh, 32 gigs storage and also same in the case of iPhone 4s it will also work on iPhone 4s 32 bits model it will not work on iPhone 4s 8 bits model or 16 gigs or 64 Okay, it's uh, encountered an error iPod could not restore unknown error occur 2009. Okay. So if you got, uh, you can see this kind of errors normal while installing this custom firmware. So it is very important to care. It's very important to see that uh, you might be uh, your first encounter with error 3194, 3196, uh, error 14. So these are the common errors. So worry about that so just simply disconnect them again hold this power and home key for quite a few seconds or you can again 
can able to connect it with the same process again okay we'll get the option again with the restore so click over the restore restore and update and the process will start again so while testing i have seen that there are various kind of error i am facing but after three or two or three times i get successfully every time so that's not a major issue about that and there are very few uh, developers of uh, custom firmware of uh, means custom files for i custom ipsw file for iphones there are very, very few developers are in the market if you compare it with the android developers in android there are many developers are there they develop each and every mm, custom uh, means every stock room which they will get from the ip from google so that's a very different thing that I think I will again face the same error with uh, Again, remove the phone and hold the power key and the home key for 10 to 12 seconds. Let's see. Okay.
now again connect it
okay it seems now it's completed so I will not going to I will not uh, edit any single part of the video and say it's it I will make this video completely uncut to, to give you some idea about that uh, so just like what kind of error you can face with while uh, installing a custom firmware so basically I got only two years so that is 2009 and 2007 or 2003 year sometime more, many of the, the one of the most common error is uh, 3196 and 14 error 2008 also a common error error 3194 also a common error error 1008 also a common so so that's it all these are common errors which might you uh, which will which you might might get while installing this uh, custom firmware on your phone or iPod so let's see okay has here on the very um, top you can see a device logo already appears so here it is okay, I can't click over that and basically I'm making this video while uh, uh, making this video because I can also update directly on my website but I always make this video only in English because I just like want to learn English about that while making this video so that's uh, the means so this is the only the reason I'm very poor in English my English is so poor so it's uh, very hard to understand for anyone so that's it uh, so okay That's it. Here it is. Okay. It's uh, I got sound about charging like that. Let's see. Okay. There is a. Okay, it's now completely on. So. So it's back on the screen. So let's check now. So let's charge. So let's select English. Okay. So it is the iCloud means uh, activation asking activation lock screen completely gone. So there is no activation lock screen. So it's a location service. That's it. So So here's the all this. Uh, so, okay, so, okay, so it started. So there is nothing about that. So this is the way in that way you can easily means say fix unlock your iCloud activation lock. And this method is only work for means that this particular video is only work for uh, iPod 5th generation and iPhone 4s. So this will work on both of the devices. And to unlock iCloud uh, activation for iPhone 4, iPhone 5, 
then you can check another video there i there in the description i will give the link below the description you can check it out there that will help to unlock icloud lock for iphone 5 but if uh, only up to uh, if your phone uh, never updated to latest ios version then it will it will only help you to uh, means unlock the activation lock so that's it so thanks for watching this if you like my video please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this okay.